Hi there, it's Deborah. Today, this video is about how to use Hail Recon's mobile app to manage your markers day to day and what tools to use to help you follow up. I will show you how to do a quick search, then filter your markers to show certain ones based on a criteria, and then finally, how to view markers in a list view for reviewing and editing quickly. Let's first do a quick search. I use this when I'm looking for the most recent markers that I've dropped or uh, maybe a particular marker and I remember part of the street or the contact name or even something that I put in the comment. I'm going to click on the menu at the top left and then choose find marker. Notice filters says none. That's important when I'm trying to find certain markers. If my search text does not match any markers in the filter that's set, then I won't be able to find them. So I remember the client's name is Holmes. So I'll type that in the search text box and click search. By the way, when searching text, the search engine looks for complete words. So for an example, if I search for the word tree, I would not find tree line. Look at the search results. Holmes was found in the address on this one, the comment on this one, and the first contact name here. So this is the one I'm looking for. I'll select it by tapping on it. The app centers the marker on the screen, making it easy to open. I'll need to open the marker to change the status and add notes. I'll tap the I to open it. A status represents the stage of the sales process. I just scheduled an inspection for this client, so I'll update the status to inspection and add a quick note. To do this, tap the pen and paper icon at the top right or tap the current status line. They both get you to the same place. I'll change the status to inspection and add my note. Then make sure I save it by clicking the save note at the top right. Tap the back button at the top left to close the marker and return to the map. The second method is using filter markers in combination with find marker. A filter is a way of limiting which markers are displayed based on a criteria. I use this when I'm looking for multiple markers, maybe with the same status type, the same hashtag, or created by a certain team member. From the menu, this time I'll choose filter markers. I want to see only my markers that have the status of need to return. So my sign in access level is set so that I can see everyone's markers. So I'll need to tap my name in the team member section. Notice it's now checked. Then I'll scroll down to the status section and choose need to return. The filter is saved when you tap the back button at the top left. Now, you need to understand that when you filter markers, that filter applies to the map and to any search that you perform using the Find Markers option. So now, when I view the map, I'll only see Deborah's markers that are the status of Need to Return. To review these markers and update them, I need to go to the Find Markers from the menu. I'll tap the menu in the top left, then choose Find Markers. Wait a second for the screen to initialize. When you see the Filter section at the top populate, then it's ready. Notice the filter says Team Member, it's Deborah Berger, and Status, Need to Return. At this point, if I type anything in the search box, it will perform the search within the filter set. If I don't type anything and just tap search, it will display only the markers matching the filter. This filtered list is in descending order by the marker's creation date. I need to update this marker to the status signed sold because I just received the signed contract. I'll tap the marker to select it. The app centers the marker on the screen, making it easy for me to open it. Tap the I to open. I'll tap the edit icon at the top right. I'll tap the new status, signed, sold. 
and then add a note. Then tap Save Note at the top right. If I have more updates to make, I can just go back to the Find Marker screen and continue to select from the filtered list. Now this step is very important. When I'm done with the filtered list, I need to clear the filter. If I forget and close Hail Recon and don't open it again until later, the next time I open the app, it will seem as if I'm missing some markers. To clear the filter, from the menu, choose Filter Markers. Don't get in a hurry to do this. Tap Clear All at the top right. Then tap the back button at the top left. Okay, let's move on to the third option. It is the most robust and offers several choices for following up with your prospects. It requires the use of the Draw Sales Territory tool before or after dropping markers. For this to work properly, you'll need to have your markers assigned the same map date as the territory date. The Draw Sales Territory feature is a powerful tool for summarizing your canvassing efforts and following up with prospects using a list view. I'm able to filter the list, search by name or address, review my last notes, update my markers, and even create impact reports. Let's get started. So I've been working a storm date of 328.18 for a few days, and I need to follow up. Because this is a larger area that I've been working, a list view would be very helpful. To get that, I'll need to create a sales territory out of this area and assign it to myself. The action of assigning the territory causes the system to send an email, and that email contains a link to view and update these markers from any mobile device. By the way, our app for the Android device does not currently have the Draw Sales Territory tool. You'll need to access that feature from the browser app. I'll demonstrate how to do that later in this training video. Using an iPhone mobile app, click the orange arrow at the bottom right of the screen. Make sure canvassing is turned off, otherwise you won't find the orange arrow. Click Draw Sales Territory and either choose the freehand or point-to-point -point drawing style. If you choose freehand, use your finger and draw a line around the entire area, ending the line back at the start point. If you choose point-to-point, -point, tap the first point, then move and tap the next point. Continue until you reach the beginning point again. Then tap Yes to save the territory. Tapping inside the territory without touching a marker opens the Properties window. I mentioned earlier that assigning the territory gets you access to the list view through an email link. If you have admin security level, you can assign this to any team member. As soon as this territory is saved, that email gets sent. I like to refer to this list view as a territory management page. All right, we're ready to access the territory management page from our mobile device. This is the email that was sent for the sales territory assignment. I'll scroll down and click the hyperlink. When I do, a new window appears prompting me to sign in. I'll sign in using my same Hail Recon email and password. Right away, I can see a summary of all of my markers in this territory subtotaled by status. Tapping on any status name filters the list to just that status. Clicking the search button with no search criteria refreshes the list to view all statuses sorted by the last change date. If you take a look at the last column, you'll find the last note taken and or the date and time of the status change. Typing just part of a name or address and clicking the search button filters the list to only the markers matching the search criteria. Not only can you visualize your progress, you can also update these markers directly from this page. This button to the right of each of the rows is an edit button. You can edit any data on the marker. You can even create hail and wind impact reports. 
Those of you using the Android device, here's how to draw a sales territory using the browser app. Find your markers using the search button. It's the small blue button on the toolbar. I'll type a street name I remember and click search. Clicking an address hyperlink of one of the addresses opens the marker and zooms into the area I'm looking for. I'll zoom in a little more to view the entire area. Using map options, I'll select draw cells territory. Notice the mouse pointer has changed to a crosshair. I'll move my mouse to the top left corner of the markers, then click the left mouse button and release. Move the mouse to the next point, click and release again. Continue clicking around the area until I reach the beginning point. Once the software sees a closed perimeter, the system opens a territory properties window. This is where I can customize the territory. Remember to assign the territory so that you or your sales reps get the email to access the territory management page. By clicking inside the territory boundary without touching a marker, you can see the territory summary window, giving you a quick summary of that territory. Let me explain what these numbers mean. So all the markers within this territory are either ineligible or eligible prospects. Ineligible would represent a property that obviously is not worth contacting because there's a new roof or a sign in front. The total eligible represents all the other markers, including those where a contact has not been attempted, which are represented by the question mark or the no status markers. At the bottom of the window, there are options to add a marker, edit the sales territory properties, or retrieve contact data. The Retrieve Contact Data button accesses the add-on feature called Bulk Lead Data. The Bulk Lead Data gives you the ability to pull all the contact data of up to 5,000 contacts at a time. This is an add-on feature and costs $799 annually for the first state and $599 annually for each additional state. So if this is something you want to purchase, just go through the steps to draw a sales territory in the state you want and then open the territory and click Retrieve Contact Data. You'll be taken to a payment window to process the purchase. All right, we've covered quite a bit through this video. Now it's your turn to practice these methods for following up. Practice using Find Marker by itself or with a filter. Then practice drawing a sales territory and using all of its features. Try it out. If you need help or have questions, reach out to us. We're here for you.